Hello everybody, it is I, Strategist Primus, and I'm back with more Heathen Horde. This will be the second upload of this week. This is episode 6, I do believe. So, last time we were busily feeding our son and heir. Well, my son and heir. Our son and heir? I don't want to think about it. Half den of, of Warwick. More and more territory. He's picked up quite a bit in here. He's sort of eating up the Midlands of Britain. I have acquired, uh, what is, York, Northumbria, and some pieces of Ireland, some other bits in the previous episodes. Uh, my vassals are doing most of the acquiring at the moment, and they're seeming to be eating up uh, parts of Primaria and Poland. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what they're doing over there, they're just doing it, and I'm totally content to be king of them. So... What we could do right now is go over here and help my ally out with messing up Estonia. Problem is, this will give it to Afmunso here, who is the brother of the king of Sweden, meaning it will be under Sweden. Also strengthen his position, giving us a stronger ally in this uh, Swedish Jarl, but it would also strengthen a potential uh, point of conflict. Uh, with Sweden in general going through the series. That being said, it's only a little piece of Estonia. I'm not too worried about them coming for us. Even though his children would have claims on my stuff. Because he's married to my daughter. We'll see how that all turns out. First things first, I'm just going to go through my special titles for a moment, because I realize I do not have a region. Hmm, with options like these. Alright, who actually likes me? Lots of people. Oh, that's good enough. Who do I trust? I can't use him. I usually try to give it to either my son if he's of age, or another close family member, because close family members tend to have higher opinions of each other. Because remember, sometimes it's your region. Uh, doesn't need to just like you, they need to like your heir. Um, from time to time. That being said, my son is 24 now, and I probably shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. So, I could give the regency temporary to my daughter, or any numbers of these people. That being said, I would like to know who my region is before it becomes some random courtier. I'm tempted to give it to my uncle Snake in the Eye, but he might be bitter about you know, just about anything, really. So I'm going to give it to my wife, just to make her like me more. Check your commanders, just to make sure. Uh, it's just a thing I do all the time. So anyone who's been watching this series for a while would know. I'm a little paranoid about your commanders being up to date. Because there's one thing to go uh, waltzing off into a war with not the optimal commanders. And it's another thing to go waltzing into a war with the right commanders. You'll win much faster. I'm just going to quickly call up the boots. So the plan for this episode is to go over there and mess up Estonia, and potentially uh, do a bit of raiding as we wait for yet another threatening score to go down to below 15%. It'll take a little time. And there we are. Plenty of boats. I'm tempted to not put Guthrid on this. Um, because, uh, as it's been pointed out in the comments, he is a berserker leading an army that just tends to get you killed. Uh, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure the best way to uh, enter Valhalla is, is to go there leading men. Uh, especially with 32 Marshall. And our air is not terrible, and he would pick up new lands. We're, we're gonna die in battle. It's, it's the fate of the series, eventually. It's just a question of when. We'll take a while, hopefully. Well, not very long. It depends. 
very well, adopting some Marshall's ideas. And as you can tell, I have a giant murder blob, they have absolutely nothing. The only reason why I'm really helping out over here is because we're helping out a Jarl with, oh, 900 men. You know, for him, 500 men would be a fight. For us, it's annihilation. And sacrifice is Doden. The other reason why I'm doing this is this gains me piety and experience and uh, prestige and all that goodness. Uh, uh, smuggling ring. That's just amazing. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's fun for YouTube. Pretty sure. Siege that down, and let's go smash these guys. Okay, he's done his job. He's conquered the piece he wants. Which is the other piece. Such is life. I'm now going to go back to my nearer holdings. Back over here near the Gulf of Danzig. And go raiding. For the nine millionth time, no. Uh, you need a childhood focus. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with stewardship. Because she's got a bonus to it. She's... Six base, sorry, five base, six at the moment. That's not bad. No, seven base, seven base. Sorry, I was on the wrong one. Highlighting these is occasionally capable of messing you up. Okay, let's go flip to rating mode, get back in, and select us a target. I'm going to go over here, find the economic button, economy button. I'm trying to find anything worth a target in this part of the world. It's just hilarious sometimes. So there's absolutely nothing in Baltic Europe that I want to raid. Because it is it is literally nothing. There is no economy here. Good to know. Uh, meaning I would have to go raiding back in Brittany like I like to. Or I have the options of pissing off the Carlinian Empire. I don't like those options very much, probably because they're much larger than I am. 51,000 men. That being said, there's a, th there's a stability uh, modifier with Empire tier titles in this. Namely, if they tend to die a lot, they lose uh, a lot of their stability and their ability to remain as a title. Uh, namely, the Carlingian Empire will evolve after a certain number of uh, dead Carlage and Kings in a short phase of time. So, I have a 65% chance to murder this dude. I'm just going to take a look, uh, because destabilizing the Carlage Empire is a good thing to do. Because they are our biggest problem right now, as they pretty much unite Christianity. Or at least Christianity in the part of the world that will actively talk to us and actively try to wreck our face. Uh, you know, they're, they're the largest kingdom right now. The Assyrians are significantly smaller. I could probably just take these guys um, in a prepared invasion or something. Could I be still prepared invasion? Yeah. Apparently just under the size. Uh, it gives me the button, at least. That's amusing. I could go for that. It's not within our target, though. Our target is Wessex. Um, that's an interesting idea. Just to think about. That being said, I want to go raid them. Because, as I recall, they had some moolah down there. They have some moolah. And they're weak. Very weak. Like, I think they're even weaker than Britain is. They're slightly weaker than Brittany. Which is impressive. Considering Brittany is just asking to get raided. Then again, I'm pretty sure half of Western Europe right now is asking to get raided. Alrighty, I'd like to think to myself as a uh, sorry, I'd like to think of myself as a monogamous person, but I've started to feel uneasy while talking to servants. The courtiers clearly, uh, the courtiers clearly does not find it fitting for a king to concert with the servants. Uh, I don't want to lose Gagarius. Uh, I could go for Deceitful, which is a decent trait for Intrigue. That being said, 
I'm not really much of an intriguer. Or I can just go to hell with them, get 10 prestige, we'd have risk getting stressed. I'll go to hell with them. And we got off fine with that. As Goofred the Butcher becomes an old man on us. 50 years old. His son is 25. Secession is uh, pretty well secured, actually, considering my son Halfdan has a son named Gufrid, so he would be Halfdan the second of, of the Yalom of Jorvik, uh, and that would be Guthrid the second, because Viking name conventions, guys, we're recycling the same three names. <laughs> well, that would be recycling the same two names. Uh, three names we start getting over into Ragnars and Siegfrieds and, and those guys. Let's just check. Oh no, he's in throw these in angle here. That's slightly better. Slightly. Because I'm an old man, my marshal goes down slightly. Yes, they actually made that a thing. Just to say I'm now a little more likely to end up dead in battle. Eh, Valhalla is calling, right? As the Carl Lynch Empire just keeps picking up more pieces. I do not like that at all. 90% plot power without doing anything. He has enemies. Uh, yeah, they're being transferred to my prison. And we're offering sacrifice to Stone. One moment, did I actually get him? Yeah, I did. Excellent. Good. I just have to check that, because sometimes the event doesn't actually give you your own thing. Uh, you're not becoming dull. Come on, come on. Oh, really? Dull? <sighs> just from my dungeon. This is just to give me things to blot. Uh, strange t chest is what I know I'm picking up. Okay. I believe that has the, um... Magic glowing plus one or plus two acts. I can't remember which plus it is. A safe peasant is a productive peasant. Yes, I am running a bit of a deficit at the moment, uh, but this rating will gain us a significant amount of loot. We're at 85 at the moment. As we just start tearing up northern Spain right here. As my son has picked up Ch Chester, doing a good job of just eating the things next to him. Very good half done. Even without me, I'm kind of annoyed by that. He will accept a vassalization, so I'm going to go for that, because putting him back under me is a good thing. Alliance is broken down because you can't be allied with your vassals, and now he wants to be on the council. Bit of a problem, really. Uh, that being said, He's only slightly worse of a counselor than uh, Bragi Vagdir was, and he's a significantly more powerful vassal. Also frees up Bragi, so I can use him. Mm. Actually, I like my options as I have them right now. Uh, 10 gold. I had asked for that. But guys, I, I have 125 loot lying around. Come on. Finish this up quickly. Transfer my dungeon. Victory. Okay, good. And let's go back to feasting. Whatever it is Vikings do when they're not killing people. I don't care about her, so I don't care if she gets cruel. I just simply don't. Some people just don't matter in this. Your borderline bottom courtiers, they don't matter. 167 gold and 83 prestige. And we got influx of loot, which is a good trait for your county to have. By which I mean, if you click on New York, it'll be right there. You see a slight increase of levy size and tax income. Which, on top of all the trade routes we're sitting on, the military invasions, makes it quite nice. 
Oh uh, boy. Several former ranking guardsmen have recently returned home after serving the Greek king, uh, which would be the Byzantine emperor. Uh, and they bring news most grave. My son, Prince Ophir, fell in battle while campaigning in Circland. They assure you that he faces enemy with bravery and slew many of the numbers before, the, before their numbers overwhelmed him. Well, Ophir was always my shitty, shitty son, but he at least died well. Rest in Valhalla. Well, not really rest. Oh well. That means my line is a little less stable right now, but my, my heir has three kids. We're fine. Well, we should be fine. It's gonna keep on. Oh, okay, I'm fine with that. As long as he doesn't convert to Christianity. Uh, sometimes you can get an option to convert to uh, Chalcedonianism because your concubine is Chalcedonian. And I simply do not want that to occur. I could create him the Earl of Lancaster. And I will, Lancaster, sorry. And I will uh, attempt to do so shortly when I have a little bit more money, money. And I'll end up the episode with that. Arranging a marriage between him and some courtier. Oh, the one who was married to my son. I'm going to accept just to get her out of my court, because I don't care. Yeah, no. Uh, people spying in Jorvik, they rot. You don't spy on me. That being said, I would be opening to nope. ransom her, but they don't have the money at the moment. Not a Gresham pack with Baldur of Devon. Well, he's a Norseman in Britain, so I will be happy to accept him on. These little minor duchies here. So our counties here really need to uh, be afraid. My son has how many men? 1,800. Jeez. Ah, oh boy. It's what we all feared. Alfred is now king. That's not good at all. Yep, he's made Wessex a much more powerful state. Which is not good for any of us, really. Apologies, I'm readjusting. Hmm. That's not good. I want to get off the plot for murdering the king. Or the emperor. Uh, it's not going to happen, that's what that means. Okay, we're canceling. Uh, Alfred has simply got to die. Oh, he... The Generalized Osbjorn. Interesting. Uh, for those of you not in the know, King Alfred had a bastard. Way, way back when. And we're just going to try to murder him. Because I don't want to deal with Alfred. Any traction? Not really, because I'm pagan. Yeah, that's what I figured. The reason why it's because I'm pagan is because... Uh, it... it it's a uh, minus opinion to all these Catholic courtiers. Chalcedonian courtiers, sorry, they're not Catholic yet. My son's going after Inverness, which is just going to make the border war even more entertaining. I'm going to create the Duchy of Lancaster. And give it to my son, as I believe he has the most of the duchy? Give him a minute. Where's the ginger? Yeah, he's got la most lands in the duchy, and I'm willing to give him Lancaster itself. Um, actually, where's the ginger duchy for you? Just so I know. Oh, uh, he's half of Mercia. He needs one more that way. He went more for the Lancaster. Uh, I'm gonna give him the duchy of Lancaster just to alleviate him for now. Land title. Where can I just give him a land title? HD, HD. No, I don't want to kill him. 
Mm, don't appear to be able to give it to him, which is annoying. Oh, gravel can probably. Oh well. Bit of a shame, really. I think it'd be very cool to make him a Jarl. He'll get there. That being said, we have successfully completed our objectives, and that makes a video. We've rated a bit, we've solidified, uh, our son is actually under us now, he can do his own thing still, um, but he, now I can't join his wars because he's a vassal. The reason why I did it is just because it confirms that his land will actually join Jorvik also puts him up as being a vassal of mine, meaning he will now interact with the rest of my vassals more frequently. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.